господин полковник, я что-то Leave me alone, I can't help you now. Helena shouted. Then, coming to her senses, she looked around her. Her entire 10th grade class, as if frozen in place, was staring at her in utter amazement and consternation. The first to laugh, as usual, was Mark. Uh-oh, she's gone bananas again. Vincent laughed sarcastically. Lucier, Freo, that's enough now, said Mrs. Fringer. The stern physics and chemistry teacher determined not to allow chaos to reign in her classroom. Helena Conta, what's the matter with you this time? Speechless at first, Helena was suddenly overcome with emotion. How could she explain this strange other world and her seemingly real hallucinations? How could she explain the prophecy, the black fortress, the burning cross, the world of mist, and the voices that kept asking her for help? The voice of the stone will destroy his power. The voice of the stone will destroy his power. Those words that she heard non-stop both day and night. Where did they come from? How could she explain what she couldn't understand herself? They're right, I must be crazy, she thought. Ever since her parents disappeared, nothing seemed to be going right. Life had been so simple and now everything was so hard. Anxiety had invaded her inner being, taking control of her life. Where did my parents go? Why did they leave me without even a word? How can I live the normal kind of life I used to live when everything has changed? Miss Kanta, I asked you a question. Can you hear me, or do I have to use sign language? The teacher said scoldingly, closing her eyes to better reflect her anger. Barely taller than five feet, Mrs. Fringer was nevertheless not one to allow herself to be interrupted without counterattacking. She had a strong and nervous nature. Frustrated by the fact that she had never had children of her own, her students were all her surrogate offspring. And she was proud of her position as a chemistry and physics teacher. Helena hated being embarrassed and having everyone stare at her, and the feeling of being humiliated and laughed at by her classmates. I, I, I'm sorry, please excuse me. May I continue my class now or do I have to ask you to leave the room? No, no, I'll be okay. Fine. Now, who can tell me the impedance I have to put in parallel to Z2 to balance the circuit? Lucier, you're so clever. 